Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. What a prick. Turns out you were right. I gotta go. Thank you for this. Happy hunting, Donovan. Miss Lancaster's helping me with a side project. You get a name at Enzo? Yeah, Remy Duval. He's not only building the casino, he also owns all the land where it's being built. Remy Duval? The jackass on the radio? His family's been down here a couple hundred years. Thinks it makes him everyone's massa. According to this, he heads up the Southern Union in his spare time. The Southern Union's basically the fucking clan. Right before I shipped out, Father James was with some other folks protesting the fact that the city didn't have any black cops. Southern Union came in and kicked the shit out of everybody they could get their hands on. Day after, they spray painted God hates niggers across the front of his church. If President Andrew Johnson had actually executed those traitorous fucks, we wouldn't have this goddamn problem. Enzo also mentioned Olivia Marcano. Olivia's an outlier. Old Southern money. She's the one that was married to Sal's brother, Lucho. At least until someone slit his throat. And she runs Frisco Fields. Ever since Lucho died. She expanded his drug business and opened a PCP lab. And since a lot of mafiosos live up there, she probably just has a place they can socialize. It's usually in the back of some business. I never knew the mob had women as capos. She's there to keep Duval in line. Only people these entitled pricks listen to are other entitled pricks. So who are you going to go after first? Duval. Since he owns the land where the casino's being built, killing him will muddy things up. You think hitting Olivia's businesses will help draw him out? I've known racist assholes like him my entire life. Black man like me running around terrorizing white folks. He ain't gonna be able to let that stand. His pride will bring him down. You know, that bourbon's not cheap. Good luck out there. Greetings and salutations. And all that shite. Long way from Point for Dunn, aren't you, Bear? Decided it was time to branch out. Not really a lot for me in that organization anymore. So what's your new lie? Mind-melting narcotics. And I hear the best are coming out of Frisco. PCP. And it's cutting into my business. Okay. So where's the operation? Beats the hell out of me. But a while back, Miss Olivia Marcano hired a top-notch chemist named Bobby Bastian. Tasked him with upgrading her operations which will make it impossible for the small-time cooks to compete. Hell, they even got taxis delivering their shit. If I can get to Bastion's dealers, maybe they'll give him up. Tell me something I can use against him. That ain't all. Word is Miss Marcano brought in a couple other eggheads from San Francisco. Get rid of them, and Bobby Bastion's gonna find himself nice and fucked. Put a beating on some of Bastion's guys, and maybe they'll tell you something useful. Last I heard, the boss was keeping the cash drops at the dispatch garage. You work for me now. Oh, hello.
That's it. There was nothing more. Out of my way. Whoa! Who you think you're messing with? <laughs> Having this suppressor on this gun is making these a little bit easier to do. Look at you, making it extra tough for Bobby Bastian to cook up his shit. It's been a bad couple of days for old Bobby Bastian. Far less of his product out on the street than he and Miss Marcano would like. Sounds like good news for you. I mean, it doesn't hurt. What are things looking like at the lab? Is Bastian there? Yeah, and in a fucking state. Apparently, the Marcanos aren't too happy about the cash flow disruption. Yeah. Well, let's see how they feel about losing their drug lab. And Bear? Sell what you're gonna sell, but you better steer well clear of the hollow. Well, you know where to find Bastion. Go get the fucker.
Start firing and don't... Flies. He's taking out the whole team. Can't kill all of us. We down the man. Run for cover. This is no. Form up on me. Let's go. Whatever you're gonna do, just don't leave me to Olivia. Shit. Hey! It, it took me months to figure out that Lincoln had survived the massacre at Sammy's and was waging a war against Sal Marcano. The Bureau didn't have a file on Clay, and I wasn't aware of his military training because his service records were classified. Otherwise, I, I might have started to connect the dots after the death of Richie Doucette. 